In this video, we'll be looking at the important questions of analog and digital electronics subject. So after conducting a comprehensive analysis of question patterns from the past three years of papers and referring to the latest previous year question paper, I have curated a module-wise compilation of very, very important questions. So now let's start with the previous year question paper. In the first module, we have to derive an expression for collector current and collector emitter voltage of voltage divider by a circuit. Okay, so this is an important question. Then we have relaxation oscillator and we need to explain the working of peak detector. Okay. The next question is um, to explain R to R ladder type DDC with neat diagram. Advantages and disadvantages of active filters and this numerical. So in the first module, there are a uh, few topics in which you can easily score marks. So the first one is BJT biasing. This is a must topic. You need to study it. Out of these three types, one would be definitely asked and you need to derive it. So this is a must question. Then we have peak detector, which is a theoretical concept. You can easily write it. Then we have Smith trigger. That is also a theoretical concept. You can easily write it. Then we have active filters. So in active filters, it is a first order, second order, which is further classified into low pass, high pass, band pass, and band reject. So out of these four and these four and these two, that is eight types of active filters, any two could be asked or the difference would be asked like in the, asked in the previous year paper. Then we have relaxation oscillator, which is again a theoretical concept. You can easily write it. Then we have voltage to current and current to voltage converter. Yes, this is also a very easy one. Then we have performance parameters. Uh, this, there are six parameters of power supply. So this is a must question, which is asked every year. Then you have digital to analog and analog to digital converters. So moving on to the second module. Second module has a very limited number of topics. That is the first one is to like prime implicants, it's about prime implicants, then using Quinn McCleskey method. Then we have finding SOP and POS, yes. Then we have to use Petrix method, yes. And MEV method is asked here. So looking at the important topics, K maps, SOP, POS, which is important. Then you have Quinn McCleskey, Petrix, and MEV. And at times they can ask us uh, this flowchart also. Flowchart could be of four marks. Moving on to the third module, we have importance of a three-state buffer, okay. Need diagram of three to eight line decoder, yes. Then we have what is multiplexer, eight is to one multiplexer using four input and yes. Then we have different types of hazards. This is a theoretical concept. You can easily write it. Distinguish between combinational and sequential circuits. Again, a theory, you can easily write it. Note on PLA and PL, again, theory, you can easily write it. Looking at the important topics, you have MUX multiplexers, construction, uh, it will be of 4 is to 1, 8 is to 1 or 16 is to 1. Then we have encoder and decoder. So in that we have 7 segment display also. There will be PAL, PLA questions which are very easy to solve. And then the theoretical topic that is hazards, types and how to overcome it and 3 state buffer. So moving on to the fourth module here. We have JK master slave flip flop. This is a must question. Then we have what is D flip flop? Illustrate the operation of clear and preset inputs in the D flip flop with timing diagram. Yes. Then we have what is VHDL? Show uh, how to model 4 is to 1 multiplexer. Okay. Then we have what is T flip flop? Conversion is asked. Then three different models for writing a module body in VHDL. Yes. Then VHDL pro uh, program structure. Yes. Looking at the important questions, so first one is VHDL. So this is a must question. Either they can ask 4 is to 1 mux or 4 bit adder. Then we have SR latch using NAN and NOR gates. Then we have uh, like SR, JK, D and T flip flops. For that we need to write the timing diagram, key map and all. So this is a must ask question. Then we have conversions here along with the master slave JK flip flop. In the fifth module, Again, there are limited topics like 4-bit parallel ladder accumulator, yes. Then uh, designing a five mod 5 counter, yes. Then we have a 4-bit SISO register, applications of shift register, working of 3-bit shift register. Okay. 
Okay, looking at the important topics, four bit uh, D flip flop register using uh, gated clock or clock enable. This is a must question. Parallel adder accumulator. Then we have shift registers. The out of these three, any one could be asked for six marks. Then we have ring counter and Johnson counter. This is again a theory topic. Uh, might be asked for four marks. Then you have designing counters using flip flops. So this is a ten mark, and this is a ten mark. Uh, topics in which you can easily fetch marks. So, yes, I hope you have uh, you have got an idea of uh, which topics to cover in order to get the maximum marks. So, uh, AD is a very easy subject, I would say, uh, with limited number of topics. Just that you need to be perfect with the concepts and how to solve it. So, if you have any doubts, do let me know in the comments. And if you want all these materials, also comment down and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.